Uh, my task right now is to introduce Lori Binder. Uh, Lori Binder is going to be our next head of school uh, after Mr. Paul retires. And she was chosen uh, as a result of our search committee, which started shortly after Rory announced his retirement. So shortly after Rory called me and Tracy and said, okay, I've had enough, I'm going to retire, we decided that we were going to have to strike a search committee. And the search committee was a best practice, as Rory mentioned, laid out by Case and Rapsack. And on that search committee, we had the members of the executive, as well as a couple of other individuals who were independents, as I called them, from the community. And those were comprised of an individual you're going to speak to, uh, hear from uh, very shortly, Evgeny Gottfried, uh, the head of school at Balmoral Hall, as well as Jerry Schramm, who's a member of the Federation Board. And as a result of that process, Lori emerged as the successful candidate. And people have asked, so how many, how many candidates did you, have, did you have? We had people applying from all throughout uh, North America. And the unanimous decision of the committee, as well as of the board, which accepted the committee's recommendation, was that Lori was going to lead us into the future. So with that in mind, I'm going to call up Lori and introduce you to your next head of school.
here tonight, we have some of the newest serving teachers as well as one of the longest serving teachers, and I would say Ms. Alto again to Sharon Freed, who bears the title, she believes, and I think you're right unless someone corrects you, as the longest serving Jewish communal professional in our community. So Thank you for coming. I hope you go home. I hope you tell your friends. I decided upon my 40th birthday to sign the Book of Life, and in it, I had a chance to write my story. If I were to title it, my story would be, I was raised by my community. I have been impacted by my education, by my experience at summer camp, USY, BBYO, my teachers. That is what formed the basis of how I went into education. So if you want to know more about me, it is a public document. Um, and last night I had the opportunity to attend um, the 50th, I guess on its 50th anniversary, the Book of Life signing at a very beautiful event. And at the gala this year, I was reminded of the start of the Jewish Foundation in Manitoba and its impact on Jewish day school education at that time. This lovely document will be your loot bag, so to speak, as you exit tonight. If you see in the corner, I think that message so aptly speaks to how we arrived at tonight. A time to reflect. Over the last year and a half, through many of you, a 70% response rate of a parent survey, through input of our staff, our students, board, and parents, we had the opportunity to reflect, to look at where we are and where we want to go. It is a time to renew. This strategic plan has its life beginning January, this past January of 2015, through to 2019. This will allow us to look at every decision we make through a very guided lens, so aptly decided by the Winnipeg Board of Jewish Education. A time to grow. Yes, this school will be growing. It will be growing whether in quantity, in opportunity, in a landscape that is new, and this is a time to grow. And most importantly, a time to engage in why we invited you here tonight. You will begin to see more opportunity for parents to be in our building, opportunity for conversations, opportunity to learn more. I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek. I'm about to take my remote control at the four objectives, and I'm not going to take much time on it, but I want you to see those four main objectives that will guide the work of the Winnipeg Board of Jewish Education, the new administrative <coughs> leadership team we will meet in a moment, as well as the decisions that we make every day at the school. Creating a culture of innovation and enhanced 21st century learning, an opportunity for our students to be inspired. You're going to hear a lot about this in a few minutes, so I don't want to steal the thunder. But a few years ago, Heidi Hayes Jacobs, the author of Curriculum 21, asked a question at a conference I was at. And she said, to all of us who led schools, what year are you preparing your students for? That question still stands with me. I ask myself that question all the time. And it should certainly guide us. Our world today is very different. Strengthening community perception. Word of mouth marketing, knowing what happens in our school is in the hands of every single person in this room. The gems of our school, I look at our graduates, I look at what they're doing. We want to ensure that we are able to work with our partners, to work with our agencies, to strengthen the community, knowing what happens in our Jewish day school, and to celebrate its successes. Increasing recruitment and retention. I would like to once again, in her new position since December, to welcome Judy Price Rosen as our Director of Admissions. <laughs> the word registration next year will be re-enrollment. We will not put a bow on your package. You are students here. You will be re-enrolling, and we will certainly welcome new students as they register. But every single staff member together we will navigate a new world of what it means to live in a culture of retention. I can say publicly, I think, with permission, that um, every year the board in projecting its budget has to project the number of students in, in, in a way that is conservative. We have surpassed that over the last two weeks. 
few weeks ago, we were a little concerned, but today I can say strongly and proudly that our retention rate this year is stronger than ever. And, la yes. <laughs> and lastly, ensuring financial sustainability and community support. team that I've been working with for 12 years. In the corner at the back, Heart Sierra, we celebrated Thai Day, so he's hiding. <laughs> Shrafi, where are you, Ruth? In a moment, I will introduce my partner, Crime. And uh, most importantly, I am so very blessed. I'm going to get teary. I better be careful. Um, to have been mentored by Rory Paul. It will be change, and change, as we all know in psychology, is tough, and I know that. Um, Joyce and I, who I'm going to introduce in a minute, I didn't thank her because she's not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> it will be a change for us, but I know that we have the blessing, and Ruth also um, is along with us. Um, but I am excited to now introduce the new administrative leadership team of Gray Academy for 2015 and into the future. So I will begin with my partner in crime, Joyce Kerr. <laughs> Sergey found his passion. He inspired our, what do we call the, the, the fish tank? The ecosystem. The ecosystem of the fish <laughs> is because of his inspiration and love of animals. <laughs> um, but this was his biggest game, and there is dessert coming out. So please, um, I have one more indulgence, but I want to thank Sergey, who, while the power went out, was worse for Marsha, but while the power went out, he was in the kitchen preparing. Um, but to watch him with passion, loving what he does, his cards are out, and he does private games. But thank you so much, and well, join us. <laughs> I have been warned by Rory and many others who carry the title of head of school and CFO that it is a very lonely job. I don't think so. Um, I am very blessed to be working with an incredible team, and they are not even all here tonight whether it be our staff, the staff on campus, those who work at the Federation. Um, I would like to end this evening by just saying how excited I am um, to continue to talk with each of you, our families, our community. This is the, these are the minions that will carry our schools in the future. And uh, I thank you for coming tonight. Please um, ensure that you eat, drink, and please come and meet the new faces. Please come and meet me if we have never had a conversation, if I have forgotten someone, my deepest sincerity. Um, but we are so very excited as we wind up to the summer to begin a new beginning. So thank you so much and thank you to everybody.